If you're a student dreaming or planning to study in Canada in the near future, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'll tell you about the cost of living in Canada as a student. I'll discuss major expenses such as housing, transportation, groceries, and I'll also discuss some of the minor expenses such as entertainment, health and fitness, uh, personal care, etc. Basically, I've covered almost every expense that you can think of. So if you're a student, you definitely don't want to miss this video. Hey guys, I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, before I start this video, let me tell you that the details which have been shared in this video have been taken from the article shared in Daily Hive Toronto, that's a website, and they did this research uh, based on the students of University of Toronto. So if you are living in uh, Toronto, if you are studying in University of Toronto, the statistics shown in this video would be very accurate to you. However, if you are studying in uh, Vancouver, uh, Montreal, Ottawa, the statistics might differ a bit, but yes, they will be very, very similar. However, if you're living in uh, tier 2 cities like uh, Waterloo, Guelph, then your uh, expenses would be definitely a bit on the lower end. Okay, so having said that, let's begin this video with the first expense and which is probably the biggest one, the housing expenses. So there can be many different types of uh, housing accommodations which students actually take. We've considered three over here. So let's say if you, st uh, if you live in a double dorm room, with a meal plan that's in the university that would cost you something around uh, 14,000 Canadian dollars and that's for around eight months time span. So the study uh, tenure is of eight months in a one year time so it's for eight months. Uh, the average cost of living alone outside would be something similar would be something around 13,000 but please note that uh, this does not include the meal plans so the groceries would be extra okay let's say you opt to live off campus with one roommate then your uh, cost would definitely go down and uh, it would cost you something around eight thousand bucks again for eight months time span okay now if you're living in vancouver your housing expenses would be very similar if you're there in montreal uh, or uh, Ottawa, your housing expenses would be a bit lower. If you're in there in uh, Waterloo, uh, you know, Guelph, uh, Cambridge, all these kind of cities, then your housing expenses would be even lower, probably a two-third of uh, these expenses. Here I want to point out that, uh, you know, I know that there are many students who actually live in a very tight space. So uh, if it's a room for two people, sometimes three students live over there. So obviously in that kind of a situation, uh, your housing expenses would be even lower, but that's not a very generic case, so I haven't included that. Okay, now number two, books and school-related tools. So mind it, I haven't included the tuition fees over here. Apart from the tuition fees, you would need to get some books and some school-related tools. So the average cost for the eight-month school year would be something around 1500 Canadian dollars. Okay, moving on. The phone bills, of course, uh, you know, phone bills are very high in Canada. So, of course, you need to pay phone bills. Now, there can be many options. Let's say you have your own phone, which is unlocked. So, you can go on to get a, a $50 plan with some limited data usage. If you want to go with unlimited data usage, then it is around $75. Uh, if you want to go for, you know, a contract for one or two years, then you need to pay even higher for a two-year contract. You would need to pay something around hundred dollars for different phones so uh, the average phone bill cost per month I've written here as seventy five dollars but it does vary for different circumstances so for eight month school year the average phone bill would be something around six hundred dollars moving on the next big expense would be groceries of course if you are living in a residential meal plan remember I told you initially in the housing expenses if you're living in a residential meal plan of uh, the university campus then you won't need to pay much but still you need to get some snacks for yourself uh, sometimes some coke so in that case you would spend something like you know let's say 40 50 dollars 
So for eight months uh, time span, it would be around $320. But yes, if you're living without a residential meal plan, then of course you need to get the groceries from outside, maybe cook yourself. Then of course your grocery bill would be much higher. It would be something around uh, $1,700 to $1,800. Obviously it does differ from one person to the other. I know you might have different uh, food choices. You might have a different appetite. It does differ, but uh, this is just a rough estimate. Next is transportation. Of course, if you're living in a city like Toronto, you need to spend a lot on transportation. So monthly post-secondary metro pass is something around uh, $122. Uh, monthly metro pass for eight months school year would be then around $1,000. Of course, you would take some taxi or cab services as well. So let's say you take uh, the uh, cab services for around $100 per month, then it would be $800. Then the total transportation cost per month would be $222 and the total transportation cost for 8 months would be something around $1800. Okay, now of course if you're a student, you would try to entertain yourself, you would try to go out with friends, you'll try to party, you'll try to uh, do clubbing and all. So of course you need to spend a lot of money on that as well. So considering that uh, dining out including meals out would be something around $60 per month and takeout delivery would be around $40, so roughly of $100 per month. So for eight months, it would be $800 straight. Let's say if you drink, then uh, drinks per month, including both drinks at establishments and uh, liquor beer at retailers, would cost you something around $150. And of course, if you're not a drinker, then you would save that $150. And of course, these prices may differ from one person to the other. So roughly, for an eight month uh, time span, it would be something around $1,200. Also some other entertainment costs like uh, Netflix, concerts, movies would cost you something like $50, $60 per month. So it would be roughly around $480 for eight month time span. So the total entertainment drinks and dining per month would be something around $310. And uh, the total for eight months would be around $2,000. $500. Okay, now most of us like to spend on gyms, on fitness as well. So if you're using the campus gym, then it might be free for you. Uh, but if you're not using the campus gym, then in that case, you need to pay extra uh, as the gym membership fee. So it would be something around $60. Now the fee mentioned over here is for good life uh, fitness, but there are cheaper gyms over here like Crunch Fitness. We have to pay around $15 to $20 per month. So that wouldn't pinch your pocket much, but many of us would also spend on supplements as well. So overall, let's say, you know, 60 to $100. So let's say a 60 as the lower limit. So the average cost for fitness for eight months would be something around $500. Now, of course, if you're in Canada, you gotta go to the coffee shops. You gotta go to Tim Hortons. Now, of course, it depends on your habit, but very roughly they have mentioned uh, the amount in coffee shops around $35 per month. I think you might spend, you know, a bit more than this, something around uh, 50 to $60, but it does depend from one person to the other. So for eight months overall, you would spend something like uh, 280 $300. Okay, now comes personal care. So of course you need to spend some money on uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, powder, soap, etc. So in that case, uh, you would actually spend something around $25 per month and uh, which would actually cost you something like uh, $200 in a very generic term. Okay, now let's talk about the extra expenses. Now there can be many unexpected expenses, miscellaneous or for clothing. Unexpected expenses like uh, your laptop might have broken down so you need to fix that. Maybe you need to get a uh, you know a screen cover for your mobile. Maybe, maybe you need to plan a trip somewhere something like that. So all these will be unexpected or miscellaneous expenses. And of course, if you're living in Canada, then you need to get some uh, winter clothes, winter boots. So of course you need to spend in the clothing as well. So let's say roughly an uh, estimate would be something around $80 to $100, $80 on the lower end. Then you would spend something around $650 for a time span of around eight months. Okay, so I think I've covered almost every expense here. Now, of course, expenses might differ from one person to the other. Expenses might differ from uh, one taste to the other. So these were all the generic assumptions which I've made over here. Okay, it would be very interesting to calculate the total cost. So I've already done that for you, so it would be very easy for you. So living in a standard dorm room with a meal plan 
it would cost you something around $22,000 per school year, which means eight months. Uh, if you're living off campus alone per school year, then it would cost you something very similar, some, but a bit more than that. If you're living off campus with one roommate, then definitely you would save a lot of money. It would cost you something around $17,000 to $18,000. So this is basically a very rough estimate, but I really think that uh, the details, uh, the calculations, the expenses shown in this video would help a lot many students plan their studies, plan their time in Canada, and of course, you know, arrange the expenses accordingly. If they're doing part-time jobs, then save that money accordingly with a plan beforehand. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, if you think that this video uh, was useful for you, please click the thumbs up button. If you think this video can help your friend or colleague or relative, then please share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.